So this second video is going to be on the presentation, so we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, Miss Smith, so how long have you lived here? Uh, about 12 years now. 12 years? You like it? Of course, I love it. It's paradise. Got family here? Um, not much. Uh, they're up in the cold. They're up in the cold. Got a little bit. Okay. Well, good. Good. Well, listen, thank you for giving me time to talk to you today. Um, usually, you know, one of the reasons why people actually contact us is, you know, either some, themselves or someone in the family has experienced a funeral or maybe had a health scare. Has either one of those happened to you? Well, um, it's, it's actually been a rough year, past year or two. Um, last year, my, my nephew, he had uh, passed away in a car accident. Um, it was a drinking and driving scenario. Mm -hmm. um, had no insurance. Wow. We, it was uh, very hard on the family, very hard on my sister. Uh, we were posting GoFundMe pages on Facebook. It was real embarrassing to the family. It was just very, very hard on the family altogether trying to come up with it. Um, we did end up fi uh, finding enough, I guess we could say, money to, to bury him. It took a while, and it, it just took a real burden on the family. It was just hard on everybody. Wow. I'm and to make matters even worse, a couple months ago, um, I was put on insulin for diabetes, something wow. I never thought would come towards me, and here wow. I am. So wow. Double whammy. Like, like I said, it's been a rough year, too. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but we'll see if we can help you. Well, listen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you a little bit about the company. Then I'm going to try to qualify you for the best rates we have. And then I'm going to show you some rates and see what you think, okay? All right, sounds so good. So basically, you know, one thing about us, I'm going to put this book here right here. One thing about Lincoln Heritage, uh, we're known as the Funeral Advantage Plan. Um, you may have seen us on TV. But the one thing that makes us stand out so much more than regular insurance companies is we're a final expense company which means we can pay our claims fast, usually within 24 hours of claims approval. And the reason we do that is because the funeral homes need their money quickly. You know, regular life insurance companies, AIG, some of the ones you see on TV, the internet, can take weeks if not months to pay off, where we can actually pay the claim within 24 hours because wow. it's set up to pay that quickly. So yeah, that, that's really what makes, you know, final expense insurance a little bit different than regular life insurance. Um, like I said, we're, we're in uh, 49 states. Um, we are the largest final expense company in the country uh, with over $600 million in assets. So, uh, you know, we're a large company, very financially stable. Uh, so again, that helps us pay our claims rather quickly too. Um, I usually don't talk a whole lot about customer service, but with these guys, you know, you, you have to because a lot of companies, you call, you get automated systems. I see you kind of smiling there a little bit. You know, you get automated systems, you get put on hold. Uh, that never happens here. Uh, you're always talking to a live human being. You usually can get right through with whoever you need to talk to. So it's really awesome that you can call. We're even open on Saturdays for customer service, which is really rare for an insurance company. But, you know, I got to bring out the customer service because they are uh, impeccable when it comes to that. So, um, so basically, you know, why there's a need for final expense, as you probably are aware of, Social, Social Security only pays you $255, which is really nothing. It's kind of crazy that they even do that. but And that only goes to a qualified dependent. So you're not necessarily even guaranteed to get that. You know, most funeral costs in this day and time can run anywhere from $1,000, $1,500 for a cremation all the way up to $9,000, $10,000. Uh, for a funeral, most of the funerals are falling in the seven or eight, nine thousand dollar range. Would, would you say that kind of sounds accurate to you? Yeah, yeah, but, we spent eight grand burying uh, my nephew. Yeah, exactly. So basically, you know, what we, what we do is we try to help you, you know, again, we try to help you fund these things. Um, you know, here's a breakdown of all the cost of, of what it is going to run you, and I'm not going to really go over into that with you but again you know when you go to cremation route it kind of eliminates a lot of the expensive costs like with the casket and the vault things of that nature have you thought about um when the time comes if you want to be buried or cremated you're not cremating me it's not happening nope you don't like that huh nope not at all okay okay well one thing that you'll like about us one thing that's unique with us is you know we actually aren't just an insurance we actually help you we actually help you f plan your funeral arrangements and then we do something for your loved ones on the worst day of their life that really helps things out. And how we do that is we actually 
uh, work with the Funeral Consumer Guardian Society. We kind of abbreviate that as the SCGS to make it easier. Uh, and basically, when you get your policy in the mail, you're going to have a Part A and a Part B final wish organizer. I even would love you to call me back, let me come back out, maybe have me a cup of coffee or a Coke Zero or something, and, and I'll take the time to fill these out because this is really what makes these guys so much different than everybody else. The Mutual of Omaha, the AARP, the Colonial Pens is, you know, you got to remember, you know, if something happens to you, we're going to be dealing, you know, usually with your son or daughter. In your case, if you don't mind me asking, if something happened to you, who would, who would I be dealing with? That would be uh, my daughter, Fran. Fran? Yes. Okay. Fran. Okay. So again, you know, doing the, the Part A and Part B, you know, final wishes with me when I come back, that's going to make things so much easier for Fran because, I mean, it actually breaks everything down that you want to where it takes the guessing game out with her. Um, it, it, it talks about, you know, funeral requests. If you have a funeral home request, it even talks about cemetery. If you have cemetery property, do you have your plot? No. You don't. So you don't, you, you want, you want a traditional funeral and you don't have your plot or anything, right? Right. Yeah. Are, are you going to do that here or, or somewhere else or is it going to be here? Uh, most of my family's up north, but I think I'm going to stick around here in Florida. Okay, fine. That's great. That's great. So again... Again, when I come back to help you with the final uh, wish organizers on the A and B, again, you get five of these auxiliary cards, okay? And we're going to talk about in a little while how important these five cards are. But again, when I come back, I want to be sure I hand you this top card to give to Fran because, again, if me and you take the time to do all this organization, and if she doesn't make that phone call, and just to give you an idea how important this is, is when she makes this phone call, you know, you're not talking about cremation here. You were very adamant about the traditional funeral. So when she makes this phone call, we are going to price shop these services with at least three different funeral homes in this area to try to help her out. My guess is she's probably never planned a funeral or had to shop funeral prices. Who knows? Maybe she's not even been to one. She'd be completely lost. Exactly. I and that's, and that's she's my best friend. And that's usually the case. So we want to make this as stress-free on her as we can. So you and I got to work together to get these A and B forms filled out. And then you got to be sure that you get this to her so that when she uh, calls us, we can price out. Just to give you an idea, on a traditional funeral, we can save families as much as $2,000. Wow. So that's that's quite a, bit of, quite a bit of money on that. So how we do this, the solution to this is we do this with permanent life insurance. I'm sure you've got stuff in the mail from AARP. I see you smiling again. AARP, Colonial Pen, Mutual of Omaha, and all those, you know, they're fine companies, but a lot of times with those plans that you get, you're either automatically not covered for two years or it's term insurance. You know, the rates go up every five years and then at a certain age it cancels. This is a permanent plan. So the benefits don't decrease, the premiums don't go up. As long as you keep your promise to us and pay your premiums, you can't be canceled out due to your age or a health issue. Uh, and you're very you're protected the very first day from the, your policy going into benefits. So no medical exams. I'm not going to make you pee in a cup. There's no physical. There's no medical records or, or anything like that. So uh, again, it's permanent coverage. What you take, what you do is, is locked in stone, okay? Okay. One thing I wanted to, to, to kind of go over, um, and I really take pride in the fact that we do this as well, is in addition to the regular whole life insurance, we will be offering you uh, an accidental rider. Uh, I actually include it in my plan, so when we get to that, you know, I'll break that down for you. If you like that, that's fine. If not, I can take it out. But with everybody texting and driving now, I mean, it is, you know, road rage is here to stay. And... Uh, so two of the things that I point out right here is in addition to whatever whole life benefit you take, on the preferred, uh, on the preferred plan, you actually get a $25,000 accidental rider and $50,000 if, uh, if, if you're involved in a fatal car wreck. So uh, that comes with that. That's just additional money for Fran. Uh, again, I, you know, a lot of the other companies, they just give you a straight benefit, whether it's natural death or accidental, there's no extra stuff that can go on there. Um, if you don't mind me asking, how young are you? 62. 62. So you still drive? Of course. Okay. 
Okay. So again, you know, I mean, you're still active, you know, you're still on the road. So, I mean, if something happened, that's just an extra benefit that she would get. And speaking of that, uh, one question I would like for you is if I can put a plan together that you like, would you like Fran, if, if we can make it affordable and feasible for you, would you like there to be some extra money for Fran or are you really just worried about us taking care of the expenses? Yeah, um, she's got a little girl. Mm -hmm. I think she could take her to Disneyland or something, you know, make it real easy on the family. I'd love to meet, leave money behind. Okay, okay. Well, that's great. So here's what I'm going to do now. I am going to, as I said in the beginning, I was going to try to qualify you for the best plans that we have. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some information from you. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a short four-minute phone interview with the company. Uh, at this point in time, they are going to check out your prescriptions, and I'm going to ask you some health questions now. And that's what actually qualifies you for the best rate we can. I can't qualify you, can't even quote your rates until I get the approval from them. So if you don't mind, I want to get a little bit of information from you. Okay. Um, what is your legal name? It is uh, Lacey okay. Smith. Okay. And I know you told me you were 62. What's your date of birth? January 5th, 1957. Okay. Okay. And your phone number? 863-740-2032. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. And if you don't mind, just for identification purposes and so they can check the medicines out, your social? 262-42-5896. Uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to call the, um, the home office. It takes about four minutes, um, and then at the end, they're going to ask you if it's okay if you uh, if they give me the approval rate on which plan you qualify for in a reference number. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, so at this point in time, what we're going to do, we're going to make the phone call. We're going to assume that she gets the, the final expense. One thing that we, the, we want to talk about how important the phone verifies are. The phone verifies are absolutely important to do because, again, you know, if you try to, if you, you know, we're field underwriters and we're trying to get these people the best rates. And if you don't really call and make that phone verify, you set yourself up for that 20 or 25% of the time when they come back modified. The other thing that, that we, uh, you know, we feel is good to do now is actually even make the phone verify on the modified plans. Again, a lot of these folks, you know, they have health issues. Uh, sometimes they haven't even tried to get insurance because of the fear of being declined. In some cases, you know, they have been declined. So we just feel at the management stage now that making the phone call for the modified plans and letting them hear that they've been accepted and, and giving that sequence number or a reference number is good for, for them to hear. So we encourage you most definitely make all the phone calls uh, for, you know, when you're doing Secure App as it prompts you to do, but even on the modified apps now. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the presentation. And um, so Lacey, if you don't mind me asking, I'm going to ask you these questions right before I call. Um, and then after I'm done with the health questions, but one thing I'd like for you to do, if you don't mind, do you mind going and getting your medications for me? Or if you have a medication list, do you have a list or no? Um, yeah, I, I do have a list. I do have a list right here. Okay. Okay. All righty. Now, are these all the medications that you've been prescribed in the last two years? Yeah, I don't take half of them anymore, but yeah, that's the last one the doctor gave me. Okay. that all out. And, and I totally appreciate that, but again, uh, uh, other than this, you haven't been prescribed any in the last two years, whether you're taking them or not? Nope. Okay. All right. Thank you. So now what we're going to do, we're going to assume that I went through all the health questions. I don't want to make the video any longer. But again, she's came back for final expense. I asked to get the medications, which I think is really huge. Uh, I like seeing that list of the medications because, again, you know, sometimes they forget and, you know, every now and then that can come back to, to be a problem. So, um, so now we've basically got the exceptions that she's going to be final expense. So now what I'm going to do, Lacey, is I'm going to actually give you three different rates based on the fact that, you know, you came back um, final expense. Congratulations. So even with your insulin-dependent diabetes, um, you've got first aid coverage with us. Uh, keep in mind now, you want to have a traditional funeral, you don't have any cemetery property, that's about $13,000, $14,000 right now. So just imagine what that's going to be in 20 years. And being 62, I'm kind of figuring you're still hoping to be around in, in, um, at 82. So that'll be great that you've taken care of this now. Uh, plus, keep in mind Fran. You know, she got that little baby right now, so you want to leave money to her. So 
Look, what I'm going to do here is I've figured out some rates for you. So basically at this point, one other question I wanted to ask you before I showed you these is, do you have anything in force now? You mean like insurance? Right. Any life insurance in force now? I, um, no, I actually, you, you had mentioned it. I got declined earlier, um, okay. right after I figured out I had diabetes. I freaked out, thought I should get some insurance. I had two different companies decline me because of the diabetes and it kind of freaked me out. I stopped looking up until this point. So no, I don't, I don't have anything. So 62 and nothing. Yeah, I know. Don't remind me. Wow. I know why I'm here now. <laughs> okay, so listen, so here, you know, again, congratulations. I mean, two of these plans that I'm showing you, we don't even advertise for on our TV commercial. If you've seen our TV commercial, it says you can get up to $20,000 to help pay for your funeral and other final expenses. So basically, what I've done here, if you want to slide on up here a little bit, I've actually given you a, a $35,000, a $25,000, and a $15,000. Now, me being the field underwriter, it's my job to show you what you qualify for, but this is where you and I really got to work together as a team because you got to kind of let me know what best fits your budget. I think we've already kind of established the fact that, you know, what the funeral and, and the cemetery property is going to cost now, that's going to go up every year. You know that. Um, I know you want to leave money to Fran, but really what's important now is that you have something. Right. So... Um, I really like this thirty-five thousand plan. Um, I'm thinking the twenty-five thousand is a little closer to my budget right now. Mm -hmm. um, if I pick the twenty-five thousand now, um, can I increase it to the thirty-five thousand later on? You can, and I'm actually get ready to go over a, an option there, a sheet that I actually leave behind with you. But let me ask you a question on the twenty-five thousand. Uh, now, if you'll see there, remember about the deluxe accident, I added that in there. So that's including in, you know, your price there. So you can see the twenty-five and the 50000 But again, what's that, that $25,000 premium? Uh